afternoon. Welcome back to DC TV, where I am your host, Drew Collins, bringing you the very best sports infotainment um, news you will find in the greater Cincinnati area. If you're new around here, join the DC TV family. We're on hashtag road to 3,000 subs. I'm also going to be doing a jersey giveaway in today's stream, which I'll hop into in a little bit. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, follow me on all my social medias. Um, join the Discord and donate to the stream if you'd like to as well. You already see the title of the stream, so there's really no explanation for it. Obviously, I'm going to be doing the first round reaction of the NFL Draft Live. Um, obviously, every single sports fan, especially people of the NFL in general, it, it's draft day. I mean, it's something. It's the championship for every team in the league, especially teams like the Bengals, the Lions, and other franchises that doesn't really get to the Super Bowl very often. This is our one Super Bowl we get a, a season if we don't make we don't make it. So uh, so let's all sit back, enjoy, relax, have a little bit of competitive conversation of who the Bengals should draft, why, when, and who, and uh, hop right into it. So don't forget, um, Jersey giveaway, I'm about to hop into the details of that. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to end it today, aka, or the, kind of this weekend. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hop into that. So um, the details, if you want to bend the new Jersey giveaways, not these jerseys, these beautiful jerseys. I'm talking about the new jersey that just released the new stripes that are finally out, ready to go. Um, so is the stream up and running? I think we're all good. Cool, 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 cool. Let me get going, making sure we're all good straight. The last stream, it started a weird, it started a weird, uh, it started a different stream, which is weird, but let me make sure we're good to go. And don't forget, if you are in here live, let it be known who you want to be drafted and why. So if you are Team Chase, make sure you put in your hashtag Team Chase. If you're in here Team Pitts, put in their hashtag Team Pitts. And if you are hashtag Team Panay, make sure you put hashtag Team Panay as well. Um, I'm going to get going here. I'm trying to get everything set up. I'm trying to get my the draft here on the right channel on my TV. Um, and then it looks like the draft will start here in about 20 minutes with Trevor Lawrence being taken with the number one pick most likely. Um, and then really picks two to five. It's going to be really interesting, honestly. I have a feeling someone's going to trade between two to five. I don't know. I just have a feeling someone's going to trade. That news with Aaron Rodgers getting out of Green Bay or wanting out of Green Bay, I think really shook up uh, the NFL today. You don't see big news like that happen on draft day. And Hall of Famer, one of the best QBs of all time. Um, You just don't see someone like... Aaron Rodgers caliber player the day of the draft just say hey Green Bay it's been a nice two decades uh but I'm up and out of here so uh, I think that's gonna shake things up I know they already have Jordan Love so they might not be wanting to trade up into the you know into the realm but I know he does have a few options like the 49ers um and a couple other teams on his radar that he said he was looking at so I just think just news like that really shakes up the league um so I'm really excited for this um once again I'm trying to pull up the channel and everything and then I'll start talking about the giveaway. Um, so the giveaway has been going on. So if you're already subscribed, you don't have to worry about resubscribing. You're already good. I got you. Um, but to win a free chance at a new Stripes jersey giveaway, um, I'm either going to do Joe Burrow. I'm actually going to let you choose. I don't have it here with me. Um, I'm going to have to drive up to the, um, the shop this week and buy at the Parround Stadium. But basically, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and leave a like on the stream. That's one. That is one giveaway. Okay. Um, so that is one chance at entering the giveaway. Each time you either follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, or follow me on Discord, that is another chance. So if you only subscribe and leave a like, that you only get one chance. That's better than zero, but that's one chance. So I'll put your name one time into the random gener generator. But for each time you follow the Discord, each time you follow my Twitter, and each time you follow my Instagram, that's an extra time I will put your name into the random generator and an extra chance for you to win the free jersey giveaway. Uh, I'm assuming there's going to be a good amount because I already have subscribers that have already subscribed. So that is why I'm, I want to end it today, but I'm not, I'm going to give myself until this weekend to hopefully figure it out. Um, so yeah, that's what I want you to do. Um, how am I going to be keeping track of it? Just on one of those platforms, just let me know. Either comment it on the YouTube video post reduction or send me a message on Twitter, send me a message on Instagram, or send me a message on Discord and just let me know what you did. And then if I choose you to as a winner, I'll just ask you to send me screenshots of proof that you did it. Um, so yeah, there we go. 
So for any of us wondering how that's going to happen, I'm going to take your word. And then if I choose you, I'm just going to ask you to send me screenshots that you did it. If you did it, I will send you that jersey of the player you want and the size you need. Um, for all the people that's been asking me, people have been asking me crazy about the jersey giveaway. I completely understand. I've been hyping it up for about a month, two months now. Um, so there you go. Um, and I want to thank all the people who's been donating to me, especially my members down here, Buzz. You guys have been helping me out money wise. Uh, I'm a call. I'm a full time college student, and I part and I work part time. So getting the money for the jersey was fun, and I'm glad I was making a little bit of money through donations, um, through my members and everyone else who donated. Um, so thank you guys helped put my money together to uh, be able to do this jersey giveaway. And I'm also going to get myself a jersey too, most likely. Um, I think I might get who we draft tonight. I don't know. Hopefully it's not an offensive lineman jersey I have to buy. But uh, uh, if you want to know who I want to draft, that that kind of gives it away. But um. Those are my thoughts right there. So, and if you were asking, okay, what are your socials? My Instagram is right there, dctv.yt. My Twitter is drew underscore Collins 11. And then the Discord is a first or second link in the description. It's just a free group chat of over 110 Bengals fans. And all we do is talk uh, Bengals football and sometimes Cincinnati Reds baseball as well. Um, so there you go. Hope nobody has any further questions about that. Let me get my draft turned on my TV right here, um, and then we'll get going. Yeah, I'm really excited about the jersey giveaway, honestly. I've been waiting quite a while to do this. Obviously, I had to wait for the jerseys to release, and then the jerseys release, and I, wasn't, I haven't uploaded for about the past two weeks. I'm completely sorry, but you guys got to understand I'm a college student. And I, right now, this week and next week, I've done some finals this week, and then I also have some finals next week. So I am just really, really busy in my life right now. But after this next week, I will be done with my freshman year of college, and I'll be able to fully focus on YouTube and my other job. So uh, expect a lot more content coming out within the next month or so. I should be able to upload at least once or twice a week, if not more. Um, obviously, as long as there's content to talk about. I know some people have been asking, like, oh, where is he at? Where has he been? Um, I just want to explain that to you. Once again, if you're just now joining in here, make sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying. I'm going to go ahead and get active in that comment section. Who do we got in the chat? We got T. Higgins the GOAT. Hey, I got that T. Higgins jersey. Oh, I don't have a T. Higgins jersey. I just thought about that. Just like that. What's up, T. Higgins? Uh, T. Higgins the GOAT. We got Floyd saying hashtag Team Chase. Luke saying hashtag uh, Team Chase. Uh, let's see. Bengals better draft so well. I'm jumping out my second story window, says T. Higgins. Uh, need Chase. We need a lot. Chase is a need. Uh, let's see. Andrew says nice mustache. Appreciate that. Been growing it. Been growing it. Uh, uh, what's up, Stuart? Good to see you in here, man. You already you already ordered your Higgins jersey. Nice, nice. Hude Drake. Everybody in the chat. Hude Alex. Ethan said we need a downfield threat. Ethan said there are still six more rounds to get off in Simon. And I think that's a big thing people need to realize. Just because the Bengals don't go O-line here in this first round don't mean there's not any other offensive linemen in the draft, and obviously vice versa with the receiver. But I think there's plenty other players that are stud talent players that could come in and play right away in that second round. Um, and you guys also got to think that this season, we need an interior offensive line player. We need a guard, and Panay is not a guard. Panay is a tackle. And um, Zach Taylor came out and said that we already have our tackles that Jonah Williams and Riley Reef, our one-year rental most likely, is our tackles for this season. So where does that leave putting Panay at? Um, unless he's okay with playing guard, which he came out in the sometime before the draft saying that he's practicing the other tackle position just in case he has to switch between left tackle and right tackle. But I didn't see him say anything about switching to guard. So that's why I think the chances of the Bengals drafting Panay here at the fifth pick is kind of I think it's kind of decreased because of that reason where they can wait until the second round and then draft someone in the interior offensive line position, someone who can play guard and center or guard and tackle, um, not just Panay, who sounds like he's only comfortable playing tackle, which we really don't need right now. 
we didn't play Riley Reef to come in and play guard, and it doesn't sound like Jonah Williams is going to play guard either. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. That you know, you know that type of situation. That's why you know a while ago before before drafting was even a, you know before drafting was even being talked about, it was you know still middle of the season, but Burrow was down, everybody else was down, and we kind of knew the season was over at that point. We all saw how bad the offensive line was. And at that point, it was tank. It was tank for Panay. It was Panay. It was. Uh, I remember the um, live of the games. There was like Panay signs being made at Paul Brown, and he actually reacted on his Instagram saying like, "Oh, Cincinnati's a great city," or whatever. And that whole situation was going on. At that point, I was all team Panay because I realized how bad our offensive line was. But once I saw the Bengals bring in, um, excuse me, I'm gonna drink real quick. Sorry, I. You guys gotta give me a break. I haven't streamed in about three weeks, two, three weeks, so. You guys got to let me catch up. Excuse me. Ever since they brought in Riley Reef, there's really no need for a tackle this season. Next season, yes, because Riley Reef is most likely going to be a one-year rental. Um, and then, obviously, guys like Billy Price and his other, com- I guess you could say, competitive for starting time on the interior offensive line. You know, he's not coming back. We just declined his fifth-year option. We brought Quinn Spain back on another one-year deal. I mean, all those guards and centers really outside of Hopkins – are all either one year guys or guys you do you really want them starting for the future? So that's why like second round, I think you have to hit that interior offense line pick. But that first round pick, I don't I just don't think you can draft a guard at pick five. Personally, that's just how I kind of think about that. Now if Panay says, hey, you know, I'll play guard this season and then switch out the tackle next season. Okay, well that's a little different. You know what I mean? Like if he'll play guard this season, but next season when Riley Reef leaves, if he leaves um, he'll like switch back to tackle. I kind of get that, but at pick five, I think you just have to go with. I mean, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase. I mean, flip a coin. I think Jamar Chase makes a little bit more sense than Kyle Pitts, but Kyle Pitts is such an intriguing player. I mean, just there's just nobody like him, and there's only a f- less than five players in the league that are that are like that tight end caliber player that is just nobody can guard. You know what I mean? The Travis Kelseys. Um, you, you know the tight ends I mean, and will Kyle Pitts be that? I don't know, but if there's ever been a tight end coming out of college that could be like that, it's looking as if he's had some flashes to show that. Did we just get Drew Sample in the second or third round a few years ago? Yes. CJ Uzama's coming off an injury. Do you want to draft tight end in the first round? Tight ends usually don't play well getting drafted in the first round historically. I don't know. What's the safest pick? I think it's Jamar Chase at this point. Just because Jamar Chase is going to be a, a plug-and-play guy. And I want to say the same about Panay Sewell, but will he be a plug-and-play guy? Will he come in and plug-and-play a guard? Because it doesn't sound like Zach Taylor is moving Jonah Williams or he's going to move Riley Reef. So if he won't move the guard, what is he going to do? Ride the bench for the year? Like I, That just doesn't really make much sense to me when you know... Um, Jamar Chase is going to come in immediately and make a day one impact. And really, that's all I'm asking for for this first round pick. Obviously, I want someone with very, very high potential. And, you know, don't get it twisted. I, I would be, I'm going to be happy with no matter who we draft with this pick. If it's Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, or Sewell, I'll be completely happy with that. Okay. You know, I just want to put that out there. I, I think all three players are going to have great careers and they're just all really, really talented. Um, but with that being said, I want someone who's going to be able to come in and make a day one impact. And just with the Sewell situation, is he going to move the guard? Or are we going to move one of our tackles to guard? Like, I just think that's kind of weird. I think Kyle Pitts would come in and make a day one situation. But, you know, CJ Uzama's on. I think he's, on, I believe he's on his last year of his contract. So he's going to want to have playing time to either get re signed or go get the bag somewhere else. Personally, I also think Alden Tate's going to be gone after this year. I know he's a third or fourth receiver. But it's going to be hard because the Bengals don't, you know, they're, you know, they don't have the most money to spend. I just don't think you spend on Auden Tate when you have a guy like um, Tyler Boyd locked up. You're going to have to pay a guy like T. Higgins, and if you draft Jamar Chase, you're going to have to pay him as well. And you might have to pay back uh, C.J. Uzama unless you got plans for the tight end position in the future. So, you know, I think we'll be losing Auden Tate, unfortunately. Um, you know, I'm just be just being realistically. Obviously, I don't want to lose him. I just think money wise, there's other ways. To, there's better ways to spend that um, for the future. So. You know, I was kind of, you know, suspect a little bit looking at the receiver position and getting Jamar Chase here, but the more and more I talk about, it's just like, it just kind of makes more sense. <laughs> like, the more and more I talk about, it's like, the more and more I'm like, Jamar Chase, though, I mean, that it makes sense. And then, obviously, I, the most common thing is the connection with Burrow. 
I mean, that's not new. We all know that. But um, I think the biggest thing is here is that if you do go Kyle, if you go Pitts or Chase here, you have to get interior offense line with that second round pick. I, I just think you have to. Or even if you don't use that exact pick, you could trade up, which the Bengals probably won't do. Or you could trade back. I just think with that second pick, it has to be offensive line, and maybe even that third pick as well. Obviously, that would kind of stink because obviously there's other positions we want to, you know, we want to get. You know, we obviously want to help our linebackers out. We want to be able to help out our defensive line more. Um, you know, I know we want some edge. I know we need other positions, but I just think if you don't go offensive line this first round pick, I think you have to go with it at two. Um, there's just too many question marks for the future of the offensive line. You know, we got the future at running back. Um, you know, between T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, you get the future at receiver. The rest, you kind of got to figure it out. Defensively, we got some future talent at the linebacker core, but do we know those guys are going to be studs yet? We just haven't seen enough. Uh, I, you know, we haven't seen enough. You know, Logan Wilson hopefully stays healthy. We got to see more Akeem Davis gathers um, and the rest of the rest of the crew. We're set at safety for the next five years with Von Bell and Jesse Bates. Corner, I think we've made some progress. Um, getting rid of WJ3 and bringing in Mike Hilton, Chidobia Wuzie. Um, do we get a healthy Trey Waynes back who we paid to be our cornerback number one? Hopefully he can do just that. Um, so I don't think we need that right now, but for the future, I think you need some other options, but I don't know. I don't know. We picked up Moss for tight end. I agree, but we don't know if that kid's a baller or not. Just because his last name is Moss and his dad was one of the best receivers of all time doesn't mean he's a baller. I mean, I know he dealt with some injuries, but they obviously teams didn't keep him for a reason or teams didn't pick him up for a reason. He didn't get drafted for a reason. You know, I, I think it's a great pickup. Anytime you can get someone like that coming to bring depth, you know, maybe he can turn it around. And, you know, I know it was partly to injuries. I can't technically just blame him on that. But you can't rely on that. You can't rely on an undrafted player to come in and turn that position around. Plus, I just think CJ Uzama is going to want the ball because, like I said, like I said, he's going to get paid. If it's in Cincinnati or somewhere else, he's going to be playing for a contract. Trade down, overrated. I don't get how he could be overrated. I could see how you would want to trade down. I personally disagree. Um, uh, I don't, I mean, could you explain why, how you think he's overrated? I mean, the guy has the stats. The guy has the tape. I mean, you say you like Moss, but his last name, we all know why he, why he got picked up. You want to say overrated. But uh, once again, I want to remind everybody in here, I am doing a new Stripes Bengals jersey giveaway. All you have to do to enter is hit the subscribe button, leave a like on the stream, and you'll be entered once. Um, each time you follow me on one of my socials will be an extra time to enter. So you get the one entrance, and then if you follow me on my Twitter, that's two entrances. You follow me on my Instagram, that's three entrances. And you join the Discord, that could be four entrances. You don't have to do all of them. You could only do YouTube and Twitter, YouTube and Instagram, YouTube and Discord. Um, you, all you really have to do is just subscribe, leave a like, and you'll be entered once. Um, so... You wanna win, if you want a chance to win the free jersey giveaway, that's all you have to do. Um, so... And it is, yes, it is going to be the new Bengals jersey giveaway. It's going to be the new Bengals. Um, I was thinking about giving away like one of my, one of these jerseys, but you guys deserve one of the newer ones. So, and I think I'm going to splurge and get one for myself too, as well, because I haven't got a new jersey yet. <laughs> so, I think that works out better. Trevin the King says, honestly, I feel we go pitch first round, then second we fix the O-line. I say if we don't if we don't pick offense line one, no matter who it is, I think you fix the O-line second. So I could agree with that.
Louisiana Midwest says, get your cold beer ready. It's getting there. Where we at? 7.57. Here we go. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to see if I can grab my headphones. I should have headphones laying somewhere else. While I'm gone, go ahead and comment hashtag Team Chase, Team Pitts, uh, Team Panay. Let me know which team you are on with the hashtag and whichever player you want. I'll be back in just a second. Here we go. This just gets me pumped for gay day, game day streams. This gets me so pumped. Doing these live streams, man. Yo, comment one in the chat. Comment one in the chat. Chap. Comment one in the chat if you were here for the game day streams last season. Comment one in the chat if you were a subscriber of the DC family when we were doing game day streams. If you don't know what game day streams were, every single game last year, or every single game of the season, I was live for, and I did a play-by-play -play analysis, and we just had hundreds of thousands of people in the streams going crazy live during the games. I just did a play-by-play. -play. Um, so give me a one if you were part of the DC TV family when that was happening, because I miss them. So much. I, I I wish we had a. I wish the game was coming on right now that I could commentate. I really missed. I really missed doing the play by play. Honestly, so much. What's up, Clips? How you doing, man? Got some who days. We got Clips saying one. Trevin says one. Drake said one. Rylan, Google Gamer, Desmond, Ooga Booga. What's up, brother? On your other account, hey, I hear you, man. You're good. Tastes better than AJ. Woo! Make sure you guys are refreshed. Refreshed for the draft. Hope everyone's having a... It's almost the weekend. I was going to say, I hope, hope everyone's having a good weekend, but it's almost the weekend. Hope everyone's having a good week and gets to the weekend and has a good weekend as well. Happy and healthy. Chase. Those definitely got hard to moderate for us mods. Yes. I'll probably be looking for more mods coming uh, for the game day or the game day um, streams. Because the YouTube was brand new, less than a thousand subscribers, and we were getting three to 10,000 views each stream. So I would assume we're only going to get more this year. Anyway, here we go. Draft is coming on here. But the first pick of the draft, actually in Cleveland. So in Ohio, but gonna be up north in cleveland which i was actually up in cleveland a few weeks ago i actually went i went to the uh pro football hall of fame which i was gonna do some vlog i was gonna do a vlog for but there's just not a lot of cincinnati Bengals stuff there um so there's my ticket it was just a museum it's up in cleveland uh, it was actually pretty fun it's literally a museum of history but for the nfl Here we go. So here we go. They got Mac Jones, which some people are saying, is he going to go three? You know, is he going to go later? Where is he going to go? Here we go. First, don't know the stream, baby. Shout out, Buzz. Hey, can we get some Buzz hype? Get some Hootays in the chat. The draft. They got some commercials coming up, starting up. Get some Hootays in the chat. Thank you, Buzz, for that. Shout out to Buzz being a member too as well. Get some hoodies in the chat for Buzz. Appreciate that. Hey, I'm gonna call you C Gamer. What's up, man? How you doing, Hooday? Hey, Clips, I got you, man. I'm not going to go through it right now because I don't have my actual YouTube account pulled up. But if you remind me, 
on a different stream, I'll I'll definitely do that for you. You just have to remind me. Yo, who day, Preston? Just remind me on a different stream because I don't have my YouTube account pulled up right now. Zach Wilson going to the Jets? Uh, you think so? I honestly think there's gonna be some trades here early in this draft. I have a feeling, man. Right now, they're just showing a commercial about the Pro Football Hall of Fame, which, like I said, I actually just went up there not too long ago. Pretty good experience. You guys haven't already, smash that like button. Subscribe. Follow me on my socials for a chance to win that new Stripes jersey giveaway. Come on, get to the draft. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get through this singing. I'm excited. You know, I had to bring out the Burrow Jersey baby flashbacks to last year. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Yo, who remembers last year, baby? Calling that Joe Burrow. Ah, I just wish he would have had a chance to get on there and hug the commish, Goodell. Wish we could have had the full draft experience last season, but still repping the Burrow jersey had to. What's up, Cincinnati fan? I think Field might go to the Jets and Zach from the 49ers. Just a feeling. This draft is going to be spicy. That's well said. Saints apparently want to trade up. I don't blame them. That'd be interesting. Appreciate that. Trey Lance or Mac Jones going to the Falcons? You think so? I like Trey Lance, man. I know Mel Kuyper had him as his number fifth quarterback, but... I. I like him a lot. I think he has a lot of unscratched potential that he hasn't got the chance to shine with. Showing Trevor Lawrence, who looks like he's at home. Justin Fields at home as well. Is there any players at the draft? Are there any players at the draft? place in cleveland or all the players at home because i thought uh the players could hug the commissioner if they wanted to because he got the uh because he got the vaccination if you got the vaccination you could hug the commissioner isn't that what he said interesting What do you think the odds will be for making the playoffs? You know, I just have to see what the roster comes to and if everybody's healthy. And then I have to see the division as well. Um, I know there's a big question mark with Pittsburgh right now and Big Ben and what's going on over there. They don't have a running game, but they have a good defense. Baltimore, I know they're still trying to make some more moves at the receiver position and get their offense explosive. And then Cleveland, they seem like they're the same team and added a couple players on def on defense as well. So I, I can't make it quite a prediction right now. I got to really see how the rest of this offseason plays off. Is our team healthy? Are the divisional team healthy? I mean, you, it's so hard because we don't even know what team Aaron Rodgers is going to be on. Aaron Rodgers could get traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers tomorrow, and there goes my prediction. So not that that's going to happen, but it's just too early. Uh, my prediction is that we're going to have a be better record than we did this season. So I I'll give you that. Chase is wearing black and orange sneakers. Can we get a... Is that confirmed? Is that is that confirmed? Hold on. You might be on something here, Clint. Is that true?
in the image on the Discord. If you want to see this image, join the Discord. I think it's the second or third link in the description. Oh, he is. What? <laughs> I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. I don't know if you can see it, but he is wearing orange and black shoes. Oh, no way. Shout out clips for the photo. And Drake said, here's a list of players at the draft. So at the draft, Jamar Chase is there. Trey Lance is there. Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, Jalen Waddle. A waddle. Waddle. However you'd like to say it. Devontae Smith, Kyle Pitts, Rashawn Slater, Christian Barmore, Gregory Rasua. I know I butchered that. Marka pa or Micah Parsons, Kayla Farley, Patrick Sertain. So, looks like there are some players here for the first round, but looks like some did stay home. Yeah, he ready, said Preston. <laughs> he is ready, apparently. Now, people who don't who, who want Kyle Pitts or a Panay Sewell, what do we think about that? Just a coincidence or nothing of it? I thought the draft started at 8 o'clock. It's 8.10. What's going on here? <laughs> Over 40 people in here live. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and follow me on my socials for a chance to win a free Bengals New Stripes jersey giveaway. I guess to win the giveaway to win the jersey. Um, it's going to end this weekend, so last chances to make it. All I got to do is subscribe, like, and follow me on one of my socials, and just send me a message on my social if I end up picking you. So. If you want to... Send a donation. You can do that as well. Or if you want to become a member just like Buzz did, I'll be more welcome doing that. Um, I'm going to be um, streaming live more often now that this is my last week. Well, next week is my last week of college um, for my freshman year. So I'll have some more time to start hopefully being a little bit more consistent with the streams. Looks like they have a band playing in Cleveland right now, but I thought this was a draft, not a concert. Kings of Leon. That's the band, if you're wondering. Dylan Moses in the third round. I'm just confused why they're having a concert at the draft right now. Anybody else so confused? And just being curious, does anyone think the Bengals should draft Pitts? Is there still hashtag Team Pitts in here? Anybody hashtag Team Pitts in here? Just curious. Uh, the guy that does stuff, possibly some illegal websites that I don't recommend, but that would be the only way, buddy. If you can't get it, then I would just suggest just listening to somebody and just listening to it, I guess. Typically, Cleveland, all noise, no substance. So finally, the commissioner, Roger Goodell, is going to come out on stage. And get this thing started. Twenty twenty one NFL NFL draft. Roger Goodell is getting the fans hyped.
Some fans are booing. Some are giving him an applause. And he's telling the fans he didn't come out of his basement for nothing. <laughs> They got Jarvis Landry on stage. Obviously, they're in Cleveland. Draft is starting now. Bernie Kozar, former Browns quarterback. And Joe Thomas. All right, who we think we who th who we think's going first? Get active in the chat. Who's going first? It should start the clock here any second now. Is T is Trevor Lawrence going first? Or we got somebody else sneaking up. We all think it's Trevor Lawrence, right? There's no other way. It's not Trevor Lawrence. There's a good amount of people there. You know, seeing all these people there makes me so excited for the season. Because you, if the comments Roger Goodell made, I think about a month or two ago, at saying that fans should be a full opa or opacity, or um, saying that the you know there should be fans in stadiums again, ah, uh, that just gets me so excited. You know, now doing the play-by-play -play analysis week in and week out was fun over TV, but just not seeing anybody at the in the stadiums was just super weird. I see a Burrow jersey in the stands. Destroying. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, Trevor, Trevor. Fields. There is no way. If, field go, if Fields goes, oh, dude, if Fields goes first, that would be crazy. It looks like Joe Thomas is getting hyped. The Browns fans hyped. Obviously, a spectacular offensive lineman for the Browns for I think about a decade. And I think they're about to start the clock here. Looks like they brought a Jacksonville Jaguars fan on stage, and she's sitting on a couch. Not sure what is going on. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go. The draft is officially open. Here we go. The 2021 National Football League draft is open. And the Jaguars are on the clock. Here we go. I don't know if they're bringing her up just for this pick or if they're bringing up a fan from each section for every pick. That would be honestly pretty cool, honestly, if they did that. They're showing Urban Meyer and the Jaguars' war room. Seeing who they're going to bring in. Hmm. Trevor Lawrence or uh, that other guy named Trevor Lawrence. I wonder which one. So here we go. Let's see if they use the entire time or if hopefully they take the pick here pretty quick. All the announcers here are talking about it. They all know it's Trevor Lawrence. Come on. Give Urban Meyer a quarterback for the future. We all know who Urban wants here. Yeah, crow. Dude, let me ask you this, guy. We all know it's going to be Trevor Lawrence. I mean, there's no surprise here. Do you guys like Trevor Lawrence? Honestly, I, I think he has a chance to be a great football. I, I think he has a great chance to be a great football player. Do you guys think the hype is real? Do you think he could be a top 10 quarterback, a top 5 quarterback? Where do you see Trevor Lawrence's career going? Do you think he's overhyped? Do you think he's, you know, you think he's deserved the hype? Um, so, what do you guys think about Trevor Lawrence? I mean, I'm happy for him. You know, I've been watching him. I remember when he was a senior freshman. It was he was so hyped, and then he won it as a freshman. The national or the uh, he won the he won it all in college football as a freshman or a true freshman or whatever it was. And 
you know, ever since then, it was just like that draft, whatever draft he's in in 2021, we all know Trevor Lawrence is going to go number one. And four or five years later, he is still going to go number one. Um, so I think the hype is real. Um, you know, I, I think the hype has been there. It would be different if the hype has only been there for the past couple of months. But the Trevor Lawrence hype has been there for years. And he's backed it up for the most part. So, you know, I'm not going to, I can't sit here and say he's overhyped just because he hasn't been hyped for three months. He's been hyped for over three years. They've been waiting for him to go number one. So, I think it's really interesting. And I, I can't wait to see what Urban Meyer can do with him. You know, Jacksonville. Obviously, they have Tampa, who's going to be really good for the next year or two or three. Tampa is very talented for the next few years. But, you know, once Tom Brady retires and that rest of that team starts to, you know, go elsewhere, is Jacksonville going to be that new Florida team? What do you guys think about that? Is Jacksonville the future in the NFL or at least in the state of Florida? I don't know. Flip says, I think he's overhyped, but he'll be good. Not top 10, though. Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert are top 10. I like Lawrence, man. It's just so hard. He's been in that spotlight for four years now, if not longer. And he really hasn't done, I don't think, anything wrong. At least, I, I maybe I looked over something. I mean, he's he's dealt with that, you know, that, that, uh, that sunlight. Pretty well. So, you know, I hope the best for him. I, I never like seeing these young guys get drafted early and end up being a bust because, you know, that affects them mentally the, you know, the rest of their life. So, you know, I love seeing guys that obviously succeed. I never want to see any of these guys not succeed. Obviously, if they go to the Pittsburgh Steelers, might think a little, I might think a little something else. But, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. Six minutes left here on the clock for this pick. You'd think it'd be any second now. 34 wins on Clemson, 66.6 .6 completion percentage, 90 passing touchdowns, and 10,098 yards passing at his time in Clemson. Obviously, last season, you could throw it in the air for whatever, COVID season, but... uh. Preston says, I like Lawrence. He just struggles, in my opinion, against elite competition. Well, I mean, there's not any more elite competition than there is in the National Football League. You play elite competition every single week. So we'll see how that, you know, how that happens. But, I, you know, I, it's, not so, it's not just the player, though. You also got to look on how the team builds around him and how successful the team can build around him. Obviously, if Jacksonville and Urban Meyer builds a successful organ organization and a roster around him, then he has, you know, better chances to succeed. If they fail to put a good roster around him, well, that just puts more pressure on him as well. So, you know, I think Jacksonville made a lot of good moves this offseason. I like bringing in Urban Meyer, guy who has won before and knows how to win. Maybe not at the national football level, but in football in general, He's seen talent. He knows talent. I mean, the guy coached the best talent in college football for years. So he, I, I think he's going to have a pretty good read on talent in general outside of this pick. So I, I you know, I think it's pretty intriguing. And uh, you know, I hope the best for Jackson or for uh, for Jacksonville. Honestly, we'll see what happens. About four minutes left here in this pick. So. But, you know, you know, I will say one thing, talking about Herbert, and I like Herbert a lot, too. You know, I see a little bit of a similarity. Obviously, the body type, two taller guys, lengthy quarterbacks, can run if they have to, but would rather sit and chuck the ball 40, you know, 40 yards down the field. So, I think a good comparison of the next five years are to see Justin Herbert versus Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, you can throw Joe Burrow in there because he's also the first pick of the draft. But those guys have way more sim similarities within their body. So I think comparing Trevor Lawrence and Justin Herbert for the next 5, 10 years and looking back on it, you know, I think that's going to be a cool thing to look at. You know what I mean? Does anyone disagree? Do you guys think they're not similar? Um, but even throwing Burrow in there and other guys that get drafted earlier, you know, looking down the road two, three years and just seeing like, wow, that's how that turned out. I mean, it's crazy doing that just within the draft this last season. Justin Herbert... 
Uh, some people thought he was going to be good, but I don't think anybody really thought he would be as good as he was um, with the situation he was put in. Not even, shouldn't even played the game he played in, got thrown in there, and he balled out the rest of the season. So, you know, I, I think that things like that are awesome to see. They're showing Urban Meyer and all the championships he won in the Ohio State University. All the quarterbacks he had, and then now he's looking at Trevor Lawrence. Jack, the Jacksonville Jaguars have had six different starting quarterbacks since 2018. Wow. In less than three years, they've had six different quarterbacks. Looks like they got fans. That's so cool. So it looks like there's a Jaguars draft party, and they're in the stadium, TII Bank Field in Jacksonville. They have it opened up for fans to sit in there and uh, watch them pick their first pick of the draft. That's really cool that they did that. It's a great idea. Two minutes and 10 seconds here in the war room. The Jaguars are clapping, so that means they're probably just got done pick, doing their pick or getting ready to call. Two minutes left. John, you are not late. We got about any second now into the first pick of the draft is uh, for on go here. And the pick is in. Comment one if you think it's going to be Trevor Lawrence. Comment two if you think it's going to be anybody besides Trevor Lawrence. The pick is in for the first pick of the net or the, uh, the, first, the first pick in the NFL draft here in 2021. It is in. And within any second now, we should see who it is. Spam one if you think it's going to be Trevor Lawrence. Spam two if you think it's going to be Justin Fields or anybody else or a trade or any other different scenario. It's not Trevor Lawrence. Pick two. Also, if you're new in here, this weekend is the or this this stream and this weekend is the end of the new Stripes jersey giveaway. If you want to join that, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and each different social media you follow of mine is an extra. I don't know how to word it. It's an extra participation point of getting in there. So you hitting the subscribe and like button is one is a one chance to win the jersey. And each one of my social medias you follow is another chance. So one chance for hitting the subscribe button, two chances for my Twitter if you follow that, three chances for my Instagram, four if you join my Discord. So I will be picking the winner hopefully by this weekend or next week. So make sure you join the DST family and get a chance at the new Stripes jersey giveaway. Here we go. Looks like they're going to stage the camera to the stage. The commish, Roger Goodell, is walking out. Here we go. Booing Roger Goodell, like usual, on his way to the microphone. First pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. Jacksonville Jaguars select Trevor Lawrence, quarterback out of Clemson University. So there you go. There it is. Trevor Lawrence is officially the face of the franchise in Jacksonville. Showing him on the camera, hugging his wife and family. Awesome. There it is. And the New York football Jets are on the clock. Who do we think the Jets are going to get here? This one could be dicey. Let me know who you think the Jets are going to get. That first pick, we all knew who was going to go here, but who do we think the Jets are going to get? You got the quarterback out of BYU. You got Fields. Are they going to trade? What are the Jets going to do here, guys? So there it is. The goosebumps are still here for some reason. It's not even my team drafting, but that's just an NFL fan, man. Just getting goosebumps, just seeing another team draft their player. Who do we think the Jets are going to get here at number two? Fields? Preston thinks Justin Fields. Anybody else? I guess I got to... I got to guess with you guys, right? It wouldn't be right if I don't guess here. And we can see how, how many picks I get right. We want to do that. So I'm one for one so far. 
I'm one for one so far. Let's see if I can go two for two. We think Zach Wilson, Mac Jones. Zach Wilson, Mac Jones, or Fields? Fields? Feeling Wilson? I want to say Wilson, man. I really want to say Zach Wilson right here. I just know the Jets, and I feel like the Jets usually don't make the right pick. <laughs> Sorry to any football Jets fans that are in here, but uh, I have a feeling they're going to go Zach Wilson here. Anybody else have that feeling? Larry says Wilson or Fields. Yeah, it's definitely going to be one of those two. I, I just don't know. I mean, personally, if it was me, I think I'd go Fields, but I think they're going Wilson. Hey, what's up, LT? How you doing today? I got Mac at four. We got four minutes until the next pick for the Jets. It's getting close to the Bengals pick already. All right, here, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Give me a one. Give me a one for Justin Fields. Give me a two for Zach Wilson. And give me a three for Mac Jones in the chat. Get active in the chat. Three for Mac Jones. Two for Zach Wilson. And one for Fields. Personally, it's on record. If this was my pick, I'm going Fields. But I think the Jets... I think the Jets go Zach Wilson. I think the Jets go Zach Wilson. So, there we go. See if I go two for two. I think they get Zach Wilson. We got three minutes and 40 seconds here until we're underway. A lot of twos. Okay, looks like we're all going two here. All right. I thought we would have some indecisiveness here. Zach Wilson, okay. Looks like Zach Wilson's the favorite here. And then some Justin Fields, yeah. Personally, I would pick Fields. I just know the Jets, and I have a feeling they're going to go Wilson. But I would go Fields. I'm going to see if I can get my father up here for the Bengals pick. I've never had my dad come in here live on my live streams, but I'm asking if, if he wants to come up here for the Bengals pick. He's actually a Bengals and a Vikings fan. He, I think he's honestly more of a Vikings fan than a Bengals fan. So uh, it's weird because I'm, I'm doing the Bengals network, right? But um, looks like the pick is in for the Jets. But I'll see if I get my father up here for the pick. So it looks like the Jets are going to get their guy here. They're showing Zach Wilson, but they haven't called a name yet. I do like the Reds. I do. They, they just won that series against the Dodgers. They were on like a five to seven game losing streak, and they just won the series against the Dodgers. So, turned it around. So here we go. Justin Fields or Wilson's going to be the pick here. I think my dad's going to come up here. <laughs> Yo, you guys have got over 40 likes on the stream. I appreciate the support so much. Remember, hit that subscribe and like button to join the jersey giveaway here. I'm ending this weekend. 
we got the we got the Jets fans going crazy there in Cleveland. It honestly looks like such a good time. It looks like such a good time there in Cleveland. It's so it's so uplifting seeing fans being back together and everything. Such a good sign. So here we go. The pick is in. The commissioner, Roger Goodell. And it looks like they are going to grab a fan from each team and to go sit in the chair. So here we go. The New York football Jets. Zach Wilson. Out of BYU. So it looks like we're right. So it is going to be Zach Wilson. I mean, I'm happy for you Jets fans. You got your kid, but uh, come back to the stream if I'm ever wrong about Zach Wilson. But uh, I don't know, man. Chat, what do we think about Wilson? ECTV family, what do we think about Zach Wilson? I don't know, man. I don't know. The first hug of the night. Obviously, players are able to hug Roger Goodell again, like the tradition. First hug of the night. Hey, man, like I say, I hope the best for every single one of these players that get drafted. But I still can have my personal, my personal thought if I think they're going to turn out or not. I don't know. I don't know about Wilson. But I will say... I think I like the directions the Jets are going into. That's awesome. Seeing them get caught up on the phone. Don't forget, next up's the 49ers. Which I think this could be a trade here. Just because the 49ers are one of the options where Aaron Rodgers wants to go. Did anybody else see that? Aaron Rodgers requested or basically demanded a trade from the from the Packers today. And one of the three teams he wants to go to is the 49ers, where I believe he is from San Francisco. Or at least that's where he wanted to get drafted from. So I have a feeling we could see a trade here. I don't know. Maybe this first round pick of theirs is too early to trade. I know they already were involved in trades. But this is going to be really, really intriguing. Really intriguing. Who do we think they're going to get here? Look, I hope the best for Zach Wilson, but I don't know. We'll have to see. So who do we think the 49ers are going to get? Are we thinking Mac Jones? Mac Jones, Justin Fields? Are they not going to roll with Aaron Rodgers? Are they still going to stick with quarterback? Hey, Clips, we don't talk about that, man. <laughs> uh, that was funny. And there was like a couple hundred people in there at the time. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. So what, I'm two for two? I'm two for two so far. Give me a one if you think Mac Jones. Give me a two if you think Justin Fields. And give me a three if you think Trade or another player. So Mac, So for Mac Jones, number one. Mac Jones, number one. Justin Fields, number two. Or number three, Trade or different player. I kind of disagree with this. I, I don't know. But I, I, I'm going to pick 
Now, I'm going to see what you guys say first. I know who I'm going to pick, but I want to see what you guys say first. One for Mac Jones, two for Fields. One for Mac Jones, two for Fields. Three minutes left here for the San Francisco 49ers. And then two more, and then one more pick after this, and it's the Bengals time. Justin Fields, Justin Fields, trade, trade, Justin Fields. Showing some of his highlights. I mean, he looks like a good kid, honestly. All right. Well, with that being said, I think they're going to get Mac Jones. Once again. I would go Justin Fields. Like, I would have with that pick. But I think the 49ers go Mac Jones. I think Kyle Shanahan has his kind of individualized quarterback in mind. And I think he likes Mac Jones more than the rest of the guys. So, looks like I'm against the, the majority vote here. Looks like majority people are saying um, two for Justin Fields. But I'm going to go one for Mac Jones. One minute left, and the pick is in. The pick is in for the 49ers. Here we go, the 49ers. The third pick in the NFL draft here is live. Oh my gosh, the Dolphins just traded up. The, the, the Dolphins just traded up. They traded their 12th pick. And the first, are they going to get Chase? Are oh, the Dolphins gonna get? Wait, no, no, no. That was the that was the pick they already did, right? I'm I'm wrong, right? I'm wrong. They already did that. Tra this was already an old. This is an old. Tra this is an old way. Hold on, hold on. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Hold on. I'm freaking out for no reason. They already did that trade, right? They yeah. I, I, I take everything I just said back. They they popped up. <laughs> Let me take that back. They popped up a trade scenario, and they haven't done that yet this night. And I saw that. I was like, oh, let's go, let's go. And then. Uh, no, no, no. They didn't trade. They didn't trade. They didn't trade. That's my bad. They were just showing the old trade. Sorry. I, I'm like listening to the audio, but like not really because I don't want to copy what they say. Um, Wait, did they trade? Is this true or not? Did they trade or not? No, no. It's 49ers. 49ers right here. Here we go. They select... Trey Lance, wow! Are you kidding? Wow! <laughs> Trey Lance goes third! Wow! Are you kidding? Over fields? What? Good for Trey Lance, but they were just talking about Mac Jones, and then they were talking about... They go Trey Lance! So, shout out to all people who picked number three. Wow. That's crazy. Trey Lance is going to San Francisco. Wow. 
And so this pick right here is going to be very, very intriguing. Just looking back at it in next year's draft. Because they drafted all the way up. And then they pass on all these quarterbacks to get Trey Lance. Somebody they might not even need to trade up that far for. So it's good they got their guy. Obviously, they really wanted him. A big bear hug between the commissioner and Trey Lance. But looking at this pick and just from a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now, seeing how much they gave up and to see who they picked him over, I'll come back to this next year when I do this draft again. Wow. Good for Trey Lance. Good for the 49ers getting the quarterback they want. But that shakes up the draft already. So at number four, the Atlanta Falcons have six minutes before they choose who they are selecting. Wow, I, that's awesome. And I like Trey Lance. I, I really do like Trey Lance a lot. But they traded all that to go up to that pick, and they probably didn't even need to trade up that far because majority of people had Trey Lance going as like the fourth or fifth quarterback in the draft. Majority of people had Mac Jones going over him, Justin Fields going over him. So obviously they really, really wanted Trey Lance. And Kyle Shanahan has his guy. That's crazy, Trey Lance. <laughs> what? Like the movie we just watched? Or no? Oh, yeah, the Venus and the big, the big build. That's crazy. So here's my father. He's coming in. Like I said, he is a Vikings fan. And I know there were rumors going around that the Vikings could trade up for Trey Lance if he were to drop to be the fifth or sixth quarterback in the draft. Um, So... I can't believe they picked him over Fields and the Mac Jones. Isn't that crazy? Especially after they gave up all his draft picks. That's why, that's why I said, well, I said, if you go back and watch this a year from now, you're going to see if they made a mistake or not. Oh, not just for what they gave up, but for who they drafted him over. So. But this is interesting for Atlanta because most people had... Pitts going there, but now if they, since Fields fell, because a lot of people didn't think they would get Justin Fields because they, they didn't think it'd fall to him, but now they have the chance to get Justin Fields. So chat, who do we think is going to go to the Atlanta Falcons? Are they going to get Pitts? Are they going to get Fields? Or are they going to trade? Because I know I was reading some articles that said they might want to trade back if possible. Or Panay. If they don't get Panay or Pitts, that means the Bengals will have all three options. They'll have Pitts, Panay, and Chase if they don't draft one of them right here. Yeah, Pitts. You think so? Yeah. So my father thinks they go Pitts here. Everyone in the chat's saying hello. So come, hello. come in, come in the front of the camera so you can show me your Vikings hat real quick. So there he is. So I thank you guys for being nice. They're calling you DC's Pops. What's good with it? So we got three minutes here for the end of this round for Atlanta. But this is huge because if they don't take Pitts, Bengals could have that option too. They could have all three options right here. So no matter who Atlanta takes here, the Bengals will at least have two of their options. So is this kind of good for the Bengals, I guess you could say? I couldn't believe that though. Are you trying to move that over here? I can't see that. Trade up? Nah, I don't think trading up's necessarily or necessary, especially if they want. I know, I don't know. What if they want Chase here? He has good pedigree. His dad, keeping grounded. Who? Oh, Trey Lance. Trey, yeah. Dad played in the NFL. Well, I know he has like a chip on his shoulder because they showed that he had like no D one offers from like Power Five schools. Oh, the pick is in for Atlanta. Isn't that the school Foles came out of? Or not Foles, uh, Wentz? Didn't he come from a school like that, Carson Wentz? Yeah, but it was, I think, Boise State. I thought it was like a, I thought it wasn't a D1 school. Uh...
No, 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 North Dakota State. Isn't that the same college? I'm from there. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that mm. the same college? Yeah. I didn't. That, uh, the other kid, the, the kid that just grabbed, drafted at BYU, he looks kind of small. He looked kind of small in that suit. I don't know. <laughs> so here we go. The pick is in. Give me a one in chat if you think it's going to be Kyle Pitts. Give me a two in chat if you think it's going to be Justin Fields. And give me a three if it's going to be something outside of that. So give me a one if you think it's Kyle Pitts. Two if it's Justin Fields. Or three, somebody else. They're saying you need to wear some Bengals gear for the Bengals pick. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go or Devonte smith if they want to receive I don't, I don't know here we go i like how the i like that's so cool how they're bringing a fan up yeah. for each pick so here we go the commissioner is mm -hmm. in for the pick cow pits <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Pitts. Yeah, so the Cincinnati Bengals will either be drafting Jamar Chase or Panay Sewell, most likely. You had to take him. So Kyle Pitts, the first tight end taken in the draft this year, taken early at four, and the Cincinnati Bengals are on the clock. So for all the hashtag team Pitts people, there goes Pitts. So he is off the board. Did you see what uh, the shoes Jamar Chase is wearing at the draft? Look yeah. at this. My Discord. That's the Discord. They, they saw this. Look at his shoes he's wearing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the shoes he's wearing. All white that's and then the orange and black. That's a done deal. It's <laughs> a nice outfit. That's a nice suit. Who does everyone in the chat want? Majority of people want Chase and some people want Panay. A few people wanted Pitts. But I'm old fashioned, so I want the offensive line. So my father is hashtag Team Panay. I am hashtag no, I'm not Team Panay. Chase. What do you want? I uh, I like the guy out of Northwestern. However, Panay though. Do you like um? Have you watched a game film? He went up against Chase from Ohio State. Rashawn Slater. And, you want? Do you uh, like Rashawn Slater? Yeah. So my father wants Slater. I want Chase. Get active in the chat. Who do you guys want right here? Use hashtag Team Chase, Team Panay, or I guess Team Slater if you want Slater as well. But if you were to take Slater, you might want to draft, draft back and see if you can get other draft capital. Yeah, I'd love for Slater to be there at 14. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, for the Vikings. <laughs> so who do, we, who do we think, chat? Get active in the chat and let me know. Take, ch take Chase, get a lineman later. Well, would be cool, but I want Chase or Smith. So some Devont Devontae Smith? I don't know. Team Chase, Team Chase, Team Chase. All right. Make sure if you're in the stream right now, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. And join the chance to win a free jersey giveaway. Um, and then each one of my social medias that you follow as well is another chance um, of you getting um, to win the giveaway. So each time you follow my Twitter, my Instagram, that's another chance at winning that jersey. And it is the new stripe. So that will be ending this weekend. So if you want a chance at that, that's all you have to do is join the DCTV family. But here we go. We got about five minutes they haven't showed the Bengals' office yet or the war room. So I'm waiting to see who's in there. Zach Taylor and others, I'm sure. Louisiana Midwest said, come on, Zach, make the right call. Hashtag Chase, Team Smith. If you draft Chase, T. Higgins is gone. Not necessarily. He's on a rookie contract. You can have two dominant outside receivers. You need two outside dominant receivers. Trade back. Anybody else want to trade back here? Personally, I wouldn't. I 
Why are you showing Mac Jones? Come on. You know they're not going to get Mac Jones. Look at all the phones he has lined up, though, from the different teams. He kind of looks like Burrow. A little bit. Sean Slater. The Bengals still have four minutes until the pick here, and they're using about every minute they got, so... The anticipation, exactly. <laughs> Three minutes and 30 seconds here. And this pick, I mean, really, it might determine who the Dolphins get. Because if the Bengals take Panay, the Dolphins probably take Chase. If the Bengals take Chase, the Dolphins might take Panay. So I'm sure any of you Dolphins fans that might be watching or just wondering who you guys might get, it could be very well who the Bengals don't draft here. I know a lot of Dolphins fans wanted Panay, but if the Bengals take him, then obviously he won't be there. Let me draft picks to the I think they just have the seven. They don't have any extra twos or threes? I don't think like so. Bengals never trade. So, <laughs> what's everyone think they're going to do if they take Lamar? They're, they're going to have to get an offensive lineman. Offensive line in the second round? If they, they take Jamar, go, they go go offensive line. I think you have line. to if you take Jamar Chase. I think if you don't take offensive lineman here, mm -hmm. it looks like the pick is in. Uh -oh. So any second now, we'll know who'll be the next Cincinnati Bengal. The pick is in. So give me a one if you think it's Jamar Chase. Give me a two if it's gonna be Panay, or give me a three if it's gonna be somebody else. A one for Jamar Chase. A two for Panay or three for somebody else. Get active in that chat. The pick is in. Once again, I've been giving my pick for every for every selection so far. I've been wrong. But I think they're going to go chase here. But either way, if they go Panay, I'll be just as happy. It, it's going to protect Burrow. And you can't go wrong with protecting Burrow. But I think giving him a weapon here and protecting him in round two makes a little bit more sense. But I'll be happy with either decision. It's about split. A lot of ones, a couple twos. So we got a lot of Team Panay's in here. Earlier in the, earlier in the stream, it was all Team Chase, but looks like we got some Team Panay. The pick is in. We are still waiting the selection here. They haven't played a commercial break all draft until the Bengals pick is in, so that's nice. LSU football Twitter just tweeted at the Bengals, don't screw this up. So they want them to take Jamar Chase just like they took Burrow. So LSU football on Twitter, don't screw this up at Bengals. So seconds before the pick. Shout out to Liam on Twitter for entering the jersey giveaway and Reds and Bengals fan. You want to join that free jersey giveaway? All you got to do is hit the sub button. Follow me on my socials, DM me, and you will be entered into the giveaway. Showing the Bengals section here. Here we go. It, it's packed. You see how many people are there now? That's awesome. Good amount of Bengals fans there. So obviously, they're, right before the pick, they're showing some presentation of Joe Burrow. Hit 73 times during the 2020 season. Torn ACL. Are they trying to hit at Panay? Oh, why would they show that? Come on, dude. You shouldn't have showed that. What are you doing? So off of that, they show Jamar Chase and Panay. So we'll... So one more time. One for Jamar Chase. Two for... Two for Panay Sewell. Seconds away from the Bengals pick here. So who do you think they go with here? Who do you think they go with, and who do you uh, want them to go with? I, th I think they go Lamar Chase. Jamar Chase? Yeah, but I think, uh, for me, it's offensive line. Okay. I'm sticking with offensive line. So you think they go Jamar Chase, but you want offensive line. Yeah. Okay. I, I think they go Jamar Chase. I want them to go Jamar Chase. But if they go Panay... 
I'll be just as happy or if they get the offense line out of Northwestern, I'll be happy with that as well. Oh, look at the guy sitting in the chair. Here we go. The 2021 fifth pick of the NFL draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select. Jamar Chase, let's go! Jamar Chase, let's go! He wore the shoes, he looks at the shoes, he knows. Jamar Chase is the next Cincinnati Bengal, the future receiver one. MT Higgins on the outside, Tyler Boyd on the inside. There we go, the weapons are solidified in Cincinnati. Now all you have to do is get solid on the offensive line. Focus on that offensive line the rest of the draft, or at least in the second round. Coach O was there with him. Was he really? Yeah. Former LSU teammate Jamar Chase, six foot, two hundred pounds. Just a monster play right there. What do we think, chat? What do we think? Chase, Chase, Chase. Are we excited? How do we feel? Someone's gotta make a comment about the knees. Classy. <laughs> so with that pick being chose, Dolphins. You can get Panay here. You either can get Panay or you can go Waddle, Devontae Smith, but they can't get Jamar Chase. Wow. <laughs> but with that being said, the Bengals have to go offensive line this second pick. Who day, everybody? Let's get some who days in the chat. If you're just now joining in, get the who day spam in the chat. Get active in there. Jamar Chase will be joining this nasty weapon. It's just the weapons the Bengals have now for Burrow. Boyd, Higgins. Look at that watch. He wore the shoes. Look at the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. And the white suit. That's clean. All white suit with orange and black shoes. Is what he wore to the draft. And they're showing the new stripes jersey that he'll be wearing. Look at that black oh, jersey. Nice. That black jersey with orange stripes. Looking sweet. If you want a chance to win one for free, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and follow my Twitter. And you'll be entering into the giveaway that's going to be due by this weekend. 162 targets, 107 receptions, 2,000 yards, and 23 touchdowns just between Burrow and and Chase through 26 games at LSU. That's crazy. And I think Higgins will be okay with it. I mean, these guys have played summer ball together. I mean, they played in all these camps together. I, I think they'll be just fine. They know one another. And like nowadays, you don't want to just have that one receiver because then that one receiver, if it was just Higgins, would get double teamed, and then he wouldn't get the ball anyway. So when you have multiple deep threat receivers – it's going to be hard to pick and choose who you want to double team. Because if, if Higgins didn't have any other help, eventually when he would be that number one, he'd be the one constantly getting double teamed. Is that his game jersey? I don't know. It was a number one, but I don't know if he's going to be wearing number one. Obviously, the number changed, and he wore number one at LSU. So he might be, that might be his jersey. I think they just do the one for the first round of the draft. But will he wear number one? I'm not sure. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Ross was number 11, and he's gone. So he could wear that number, I believe. Did he run the 40? I, I believe he did. I believe he did. I think he ran like a 4-5. I could be wrong. Oh, never mind. He went a four three eight. <laughs> Whoa. Jamar Chase is talking right now. Talking about working with Joe Burrow and getting ready to work. Talking about their production in college and how they can translate it to the league. He needs to keep the same mindset. And his mindset will take him along the way. In the words of Jamar Chase.
But I mean, the Bengals. I, I love the pick, but you have to go offensive line here, second and third, or just second. Can't pay both long term. I would disagree with that. If you have your running back already locked up, you definitely can pay both. You're not going to pay both as a receiver number one because they're both not going to be a receiver number one. Tyler Boyd's already locked up on a decent deal, so eventually that would, you know, that wouldn't be as much because the cap, the salary cap goes up every year, obviously outside of the COVID year. I mean, how many teams have multiple weapons at receiver? I mean, have the Chiefs used the have, have the Chiefs, are they not able to pay all their receivers? I don't know. So Dolphins, who do we think the Dolphins are gonna get here? We took Jamar Chase, so they can go Devon. They can go with either Alabama receiver right here, or they can try to protect um, Tua. Looks like the Bengals didn't really want to protect Burrow with the fifth pick. I don't know. They're going wide receiver because I'm pretty sure the Dolphins didn't have too great of offense line either. But do you go Devonte Smith or you go Waddle or Waddle? I, I don't know which way they're pronouncing his name. Auto. The sixth pick of the draft, the Dolphins select. They're going Jalen Waddle. Wow. So Jalen Waddle is wow. going to go to the Dolphins. So they take him over Devontae Smith and they take him over Panay. They take him over the Heisman Trophy winner. <laughs> Who's he hugging there? I'm not yeah. sure. And wasn't he hurt too? Coming off an injury too? Yeah. So coming off an man. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. So they take Jalen over Smith, who won the Heisman as a receiver, and Jalen was hurt. Wow. Mm, compare him to Tyreek Hill. I think it's a little bit of a stretch. So the Lions, I mean, they have about 30 different positions they need to address on their team. If I were, if I were Detroit, I would personally try to trade back and try to get multiple other selections. But here you can either get Panay and shore up that left tackle for the next 15 years, or you got Devontae Smith. You also got Micah Parsons, the linebacker. I mean, they have options here. I don't know why she donated him. Who did that? <laughs> Thank you so much. Grazi <laughs> says, what do you think of the pick, my guy? I love it. I think you just got addressed O-line in the second, and you're fine. We have one-year rentals like Riley Reef, possibly Quentin Spain again, since we signed into another one-year deal. You get someone in the second round to sure uh, the guard position up or the tackle position for the future. I think it's fine. I, as much as I love Panay, Panay, I don't think would have switched to the guard position. He came out before the draft and said he was only working on the tackle positions just in case he had to switch from left tackle to right tackle. Well, this season, we don't need a tackle. We have Jonah Williams and Riley Reef. So where does that put our number five pick? So personally, I love the pick. Chase is going to come in and automatically start with Higgins and Boyd. And then you have Tate to back him up. I, I love the selection. I just think now that ties our hands behind our back and we have to go O-line in the second. But so far, there still hasn't been an offensive line taken. I know it's still only the seventh pick of the draft. But hopefully these offensive linemen, hopefully all these teams keep taking these position players and that gives the Bengals a better offensive lineman pick in the second round. But who do you think the Lions take here? I'm surprised. Hmm. Well, you know, Denver's two picks down. I'm surprised that uh, the Patriots haven't tried to do something with them. I'm sure Detroit, you know, they need everything. I'm a surprised that they didn't deal. Maybe teams didn't my, reach out to them. My theory for the Lions here, if they don't trade the pick, I think they would go Micah Parsons if they never would have traded Matthew Stafford. But because they traded him and they got Jared Goff, 
and they know Jared Goff is going to a, a, ta- a team that's way less talented, I think you have to draft this first pick off like, on the offense side just to make it up for him. And I think they get protection. I think they draft Panay Sewell here. That's my theory. You just can't trade a quarterback like that, put him on such a less talent- or a talented team, and just be like, all right, go out there and win us games. You're going to have to help him. And I think they help him here with either Devontae Smith, but I think they go Panay Sewell and uh, get him some protection. Because he had that. He had Andrew Whitworth in a pretty solid offense line. And that's gone now. Have you seen any film of Jonah? Jonah Williams? Yeah. <clears throat> Not from this offseason. But I know he's healthy. He's that's what they said. You got him. That's what Zach Taylor said. You got him, Reef, Spain. You're welcome, Bengals fans. Riley Reef. Yeah, once again, my father's a Vikings fan, so Riley Reef, out to the Vikings. Even if he's only on the team for only this season, that's obviously going to help Burrow. So, And now the Vikings are kind of stuck possibly having to draft a new Riley Reef. <laughs> Apparently, they don't have a choice. So, shout out to the Vikings letting Riley Reef walk over to the high river of Cincinnati. But yeah, what do you guys think for the Detroit Lions pick? The pick is in. Once again, I am going to go Panay. Um, let me know if you guys think anything else. I mean, they could go Justin Fields, and that could be their future quarterback. They could get the they can get a receiver here. They can go Micah Parsons. Obviously, they have their new head coach. I can't think of his name. Uh, was he's I know he's a former player, wasn't he? The new coach they just got. He was a he was a defensive linebacker. I'm pretty sure, or he's a linebacker. I'm pretty sure. That's why a lot of people think he's going to get Parsons. Uh, what's his name? Dan Campbell. Didn't he play? Yeah, he played. I knew it. He played for the Lions. 11 years. Oh, no, he played for the Giants, the Cowboys, and the Lions, and the Saints. And he's a defensive guy, so... I think they go Panay or Micah Parsons because I feel like him being a former defensive player, he and you have the best, you have the chance to draft the, you know, the best defensive player in the draft. That has to be hard to pass on. What do we think in the chat? Okay, updating some new folks. Yeah, if you're just now tuning in, the Bengals drafted Jamar Chase. If you're just now tuning in, Jamar Chase is the next Bengal. Grazi said they get, we got Tr- Hopkins, Jonah, Williams, Spain, and Reef. I agree with you. Sure do. Who was that? What? Panay Sewell goes to the Detroit Lions. So my theory was correct. They are going to protect who they just traded for. And that's his brother who also plays. He is very pumped up. Looks like he is at home for this one, and that is tears of joy for Panay. First Oregon offensive line selected in the top 10 in the common draft era since 1967. That's awesome. I like Panay a lot. I just thought with that fifth pick, you have to go Jamar Chase. But Panay being only 21 years old, I'm pretty sure, only a year older than me, or I think he might be 20, actually. He's either 20 or 21. The kid has such a bright future. When he pull him across the line, he is a beast. Good luck blocking Daniel. <laughs> Good luck blocking Daniel Hunter, bud. Oh, he's in a tough division. He's got the Vikings. <laughs> that defensive line. And he's gonna start day one too, so rookie against Daniel Hunter. I wonder which side he'll start on. Because he said he's been practicing right tackle, too. The Panay Sewell off. So all three players the Bengals wanted to, or the Bengals fans wanted the Bengals to draft Pitts, Panay, and Chase are all off the board. The Bengals landing Jamar Chase out of the three. Um, but all three are off the board by round seven. And next up is going to be the Carolina Panthers here for round eight. They have two minutes and 45 seconds left into the pick. We'll be in. This is tough for Carolina. They've had a lot of movement. 
the past month. You know, just got rid of Teddy B. I mean, do they go quarterback here? The like, lines are pumped. <laughs> That's all. They're showing the Lions war room and they look pumped on that for their pick. I mean, that's a kid that could play 15 years. I, I like him a lot. I just thought the Bengals had a better option there. With Jamar Chase. Preston said, won't be surprised if Slater slides because of the other players on the board. So, some people think he might drop. Might drop to the Vikings. Sean Slater. Zimmer would love. That's why I wanted them to pick. I almost wonder if Zimmer had uh, conversations with Reed, too, because you know he has that sense. Probably. Plus, Still lives here locally. Yeah. Has his farm here in Kentucky. So. I wonder if they had that conversation, and he probably spoke kindly of and Trey Waynes and the quarterback, right. the cornerback you just got back again. Right. Who's it? Alexander. Al Mackenzie Alexander. I mean, all those guys. Vikings pick 14. I don't know what the Panthers do here. Looks like Patrick Sertain's an option. Do they really go corner? They just got rid of Teddy. Who who is their quarterback right now? Denver. No, the the Panthers. They just got rid of Teddy Bridgewater. They Darnold. They're gonna stick with Darnold over Justin Fields. So I mean, the Panthers have, and they're using every second. They have thirty seconds to get their pick, and that's the latest any of these teams have gone to. The pick is finally in, but um. It's going to be intriguing because they they can either stick with Sam Darnold for the next few years or they could tra they could get um they could get one of the quarterbacks. I don't know. A coach is a defensive guy. I bet they go deep. Patrick Sertain or Micah Parsons? Yep. Uh it looks like Zach Taylor has came out Said some words. Looks like Zach Taylor on anxiety before they were on the clock to take Chase. Quote, when there's a player you really want, you want him to be there. So it looks like Zach Taylor really knew he wanted Jamar Chase before they even got the chance to draft him. Um, looks like that's what he said. Uh, he also said this on Burrow's progress. Quote, everything seems to be on pace. Said Burrow seems to be on track for everything they thought they would. He came this close to giving a timeable... He came this close to a timetable when he never does, which he never does. So it looks like he was actually going to give him a time return, but end up not giving a day, which we all know he's going to be ready for game one. I mean, they kind of hinted at that multiple times. They also asked, the reporters also asked Zach Taylor if Joe Burrow was campaigning for Jamar Chase. And Zach Taylor said, and I quote, that's not Joe's style. Looks like he's trying to say uh, Burrow wasn't making a campaign for Jamar Chase. Uh, but then he did say Zach Taylor said Joe Burrow talked about how much he worked with Jamar Chase outside of team activities and said that he makes a good fit in Cincinnati. So he says he wasn't campaigning for him, but also said Burrow said that, you know, he's going to be a good player. And then he also Taylor also said they grabbed Jamar Chase as quick as they could. So when many of us, including myself, kind of thought the Bengals, this might be a tough decision between Panay and Chase, it's coming out as if the Bengals knew all along who they wanted. So, And it seemed like Jamar Chase kind of knew that too with the orange and black shoes. And Joe Burrow has tweeted as well, which he doesn't tweet very often. He tweets, um, he tweets, he tweets um, Jamar Chase doing the gritty at LSU. <laughs> it looks like Burrow's also happy. Wow, the 
Panthers select J.C. Horn, cornerback out of South Carolina. I told you. Over Sertain, though? Uh, no, I'm not crazy about the pick, but I knew he was going to go different. Coach. Wow. I had Sertain as my number one corner. But J.C. Horn's good, too. All right. So the Broncos, didn't they? They got Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater. But they, if they wanted to, they could get Mac Jones or Justin Fields. Yeah, we still got how, two quarterbacks sitting How there. tempting is that? What if they would have never traded? Good receipt there. And that has to be so tough if you're a fan of one of these teams that have just a mediocre like average quarterback and you have a chance at a top four quarterback in the draft but instead you're taking something else to help the current quarterback but still it has to be so tempting mm -hmm. i know the broncos were going to get a quarterback they were looking at i know a lot of people said they were going to get trey lance but I mean, do they have their guy now with the trade? Oh. I mean, do I think Drew Locke is a franchise quarterback? No. Do I think he's like below average? Yes. Do I think he can take your team to a Super Bowl? No. Do I think that about Teddy Bridgewater? Most likely not. So. I don't know. Bridgewater. Starting. Preston says he likes to pick. Thinks JC's pretty good. I think he's good as well. I just was kind of surprised over Sertain. Allison. Robert thinks Fields is going to go here. Do we think Broncos are taking a QB here? Preston said, with these QBs still on the board, Waddle and Towns left, I think we'll have great options potentially left on the board. I mean, it seems like everyone's so distracted on position players, which should at this early in the draft, but... Because out of these next few teams, are any of them looking at offensive linemen? The Giants could pick offensive linemen. The Chargers are going to pick offensive linemen for sure, most likely. And the Vikings. So that's three more offensive linemen possibly the next five picks, five, six picks. So the, the next five, six picks are going to be huge on which offensive linemen are going to be left in the second round. I don't unplug this. Want to hear the audio? No. Do you think the 49ers should have taken Fields over Lance? Personally, I mean, which one do I think is the more secure pick? Probably Fields, but do I like Lance? Yes. Do I think they had to draft up that early to get Lance? No. That's where I'm kind of mixed on that pick. I just don't think they had to give up all that for Trey Lance. When Mac Jones and Justin Fields and these guys that were supposed to be taken before him are still on the board. So, I mean, if that's their guy they like, you can't really argue it. That's who they like. But you can argue, did they give up too much? That's kind of what it's looking like. I mean, what are your thoughts on taking him over Fields? Well, I was getting getting ready to say I would love to see what the 49ers organization is going to end up saying. What was the decision making behind taking him over somebody proven like Fields? And if you listen to all the
the different reports. Yeah, all the reports coming out from all the sports networks. There's always question marks when it comes to Justin Fields, but no one at why. It looks like the next two offensive linemen are Elijah Vera Tucker and Rashawn Slater. I know Frank Pollock was at Elijah Vera Tucker's uh was at his pro day. I think he was also at Rashawn Slater's, if I'm correct. So I think a what if scenario world would be what if the Bengals trade back up mid to late first round with their second rounder? And if one of those guys are still there, they pick him. That would be crazy. Preston says, I mean, you can't lose between Fields or Lance, um, but I wouldn't have traded up for him over Fields or Jones. I just feel like they gave up a lot. Like they were kind of paranoid that he wouldn't be at their pick, but the way the draft is going, because I don't think the Broncos take a QB here. Personally, I think, I don't know. I don't know what the Broncos need. You think they go quarterback here? You want the quarterbacks they got? You know, they picked all those wide receivers last year. Definitely not wide receivers. Might be Fields. Not Fields. I could see them trading. Not Fields. The backer? What, Micah Parsons? Or you can go uh, I like Sertain, the kid. Patrick Sertain. The kid from Notre Dame. The lineman? No, no. the linebacker. He... He's talking about how Mac Jones is similar to uh, Tom Brady. Oh, Kyber's a goofball, man. I hope that Jones is sitting there at 14. The Vikings are taking him. Oh, Vikings. It seems like either he or a uh, quarterback might fall to the Vikings. Oh. A quarterback might fall. I can tell you this. If Fields is sitting there at 14, Zimmer's going to Think so? Yeah. The pick is in here for the Broncos. I would be shocked. Uh, my guess is that they go. I don't know. Patrick Sertain, do they need a corner? <laughs> Their mascot is funny. Showed him who the pick. See it. I was right, Sertan. Oh, Patrick Chatan. I was right on that one. Let's go. Cornerback out of Alabama. I think Saban doesn't go to these. He did. He'd be there all every day for every hour. <laughs> the pink suit. I like it. Oh, that's why he hugged Waddle. Mm -hmm. So another Alabama kid goes. And there's still Devontae Smith, right? So. so this is iffy for the Cowboys. This really sucks for the Cowboys, actually. Because they really wanted one of these two corners. They wanted that. Because yeah. their, their secondary was the worst in all of like NFL history. Like it was that bad. It was like breaking records of all time in modern day NFL. And they really needed a corner. And the two best corners just came off the board right before they could pick. So does Jerry go with another crazy receiver pick like he did last year? Or that really stinks. You could go Slater and help with the offense line. I know their offense lineman's good, but it was nailed with injuries last year, so you can go Edge, Jalen Phillips. I know that's who the Vikings were looking at. 
Or you can go to the other corner. It looks like Greg Newsom. I think you go Micah Parsons because he. I think he's more talented than the other corners that are left. I, I don't know. That really stinks for the Cowboys because I'm pretty sure they wanted one of those guys right there. Fields is going to fall to the Vikings at 14. He's going to be there. Well, because the Giants, the, don't the Giants quarterback. aren't quarterback. Philadelphia is not getting the quarterback. No. <laughs> Fields is going to Minnesota. <laughs> Did you see if you bet ten dollars on Fields going to Minnesota, the bet you'd win is a thousand? Wow. That's the chances. If you were to bet ten thousand to Justin Fields going to the Vikings, you'd get a thousand dollars in return. I should have told you to do it. I'll be shocked. Unless someone trades here. None of these picks are good QBs right here. The Patriots pick after us, and you know they want him. Maybe we Vikings maybe could trade. We switch. Vikings maybe could we trade switch with the Patriots. Oh, maybe that wish the Vikings picks. get Fields. You would have to be hyped. I know he wouldn't play this season, but oh, that'd be so nice for the future. They're talking about possible trades here. Here we go. The Cowboys are up at pick 10. Who do we think the Cowboys are going to get here? I would think it would have to be defense, especially I just they had the worst defense in like NFL history or one of the worst defenses. Jerry Jones is on the phone with Robert Kraft right now. <laughs> Probably four minutes left they have until they have to make their selection. Philly might surprise us, but I bet they get Waddle. Didn't he just get drafted Waddle? So it would be uh, Devontae Smith. Yeah. They could get Smith. Another wide receiver out of Ole Miss. Who did the Cowboys get here? They already have the most ex expensive offensive line in football. The Eagles are trading up with the Cowboys per Ian Rappaport. They haven't made it. Per Ian Rappaport, they haven't made it the comment on the TV, but there it is, Ian Rappaport on Twitter. So, so who are the Eagles going to get? Because they're not going quarterback. There it is, Cowboys trade. That's two weird teams of a trade. Hmm. Why would you help your division? I won. Has to benefit both, they have to believe, right? Are they are the Eagles gonna go quarterback here? And after they just said all that good stuff about uh they just talked up that one kid they drafted last year. What's his name? Uh talking about the quarterback? Yeah. Talked him up because they drafted him early and they said it was the worst pick of the draft. Jalen Hurts. So they can't go quarterback here, right? Are they gonna go uh they're gonna go Devontae Smith, right? So Eagles trade with the Cowboys. Just an update. Pick 10. Cowboys and Eagles trade. A weird trade. Who do we think the Eagles are going to get now? Devontae Smith? Yeah. And then they come back with... Mel Kuyper says Devontae Smith. They say who... What did the Cowboys get? Cowboys get number 84 and number 12. Oh, so they picked. So they only they went back two picks to get the 84th pick. That's pretty good. If the player you want is still going to be there, why not? I guess they felt that the Giants were going to take... Uh... Don't they have receivers though? Didn't they draft a receiver last year over Justin Jefferson? Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. So they're gonna draft receiver again? They drafted that receiver over Jalen Rieger, remember? They drafted Jalen Rieger and the Vikings laughed saying they 
they pick him over Justin Jefferson. What are they doing? There's no way they draft receiver again. I guess they're going to. I mean, the rest of their receiver core is uh not good. <laughs> Jefferson. No record. All right, so it looks like they went Jalen Rager this year, and it looks like they might go Devontae Smith this year. Or they're also talking about how they might get Micah Parsons. I like Micah Parsons a lot, so. Okay. Which would make sense because wouldn't the Giants go defense? Or oh maybe the di the the uh maybe the Giants would go uh maybe they think the Giants would go receiver. Doesn't look very high. Well, I don't think he was supposed to fall. Jamar Chase said that Burrow texted him this morning and told him to get his bags packed. So they already knew that Jamar Chase is going to be a Bengal this morning. That's why he put the shoes on. <laughs> Burrow texted Jamar Chase this morning. Wow, they gave up a third round. That's funny. Giants need offense or pass rusher. I agree with the offense. I, yeah, I guess there is a, some pass rush available too. Don't they want to protect uh, Danny Dimes, though? Don't they want to go offensive line? Because isn't the offensive line for New York pretty bad? Who they, Mace? It says the Eagles' best fit is Justin Fields. There's no way. There's no way they just... They spent that pick last year, then they draft quarterback again. There's no way. Man, imagine being... Well, it was just like Carson Wentz. They paid him... Like eighty million dollars or whatever it was, and then they they draft Hurts. There's no way they put themselves in that situation back. Like, there's no way they do it again. The pick is in. Yeah, that. Bengals, they need a linebacker too. They got no, they got linebacker. young linebackers, right? But they're not like ready. They need linemen first, though. Giants need all. Or Giants want Slater. I mean, that would be the best pick for offensive line would be Slater. So I don't blame you if you're a Giants fan and you want. I, I could see why you would want Slater. He's a beast. Dude. A well, new offensive line for the Bengals, but after that, they pick up a linebacker. In the yeah, they probably will. The Cowboys trade the pick to the Eagles, and the Eagles select. Devontae Smith. So they do go receiver yeah. again this year. And this time, they're going to pair Jalen Rieger up with Devontae Smith. Who does he remind you of? John Jackson. Think so? Same size. So there we go. Another Alabama player taking the third or fourth one in the, in the draft already. Oh, I like that jacket. Bro. It is pretty cool. City of brotherly love. They get Devontae Smith. So, I mean, they're, they're helping Jalen Hurts. So, they really must think Hurts is their quarterback. If they're going to pass on fields and the quarterbacks that are left, they must be really comfortable with Jalen Hurts. But that being said, the 11th pick is going to be the New York Football Giants. I guess it's the football Jets. It's the Giants. The Giants. Hmm. 
Giants need to protect Danny Dimes. So I, I think I think you have to go with Sean Slater here. I know you want it for the Vikings, but they gotta protect Danny Dimes. Don't matter what I want now, because I know they're gonna take Justin Fields. Da- see, Dallas isn't taking a quarterback. And who's 13? The Chargers? The Chargers aren't taking quarterback. No, they got no. Oh team. my gosh. He is gonna go to the Vikings. <laughs> Justin Fields really is going to go to the Vikings, isn't he? We end up going off. Oh, my gosh. The Bears have traded with the Giants. They're going to get Justin oh, Fields. They are going to get Fields. Oh. They are going to get Fields. But they just signed any Dalton. Per Ian Rappaport, he said the Bears are on the clock after the Giants have been in trade talk for the number 11 pick. All right. That's oh, all right. I still want Slater. You're not gonna get. Oh wait, cause you might get him. No, because the Chargers are going offensive line. They're gonna protect their. Cause uh, what's his face? Herbert got destroyed too. Oh, that stinks. If Slater goes, then we'll probably be back to Mike. Vikings. Oh, the Bears. They're not gonna stick with Andy Dalton. Oh, that stinks. They had to give up a pretty penny, though. Because where were they were, where were they picking at? They were in, I think, like 20. They had to, like the 20. That's all right. They gave up a pretty penny for that pick. Oh. You would have had Andy Dalton, and now you're going to have to do it Justin Fields for the next next decade. I'll, this If this does plan out, that may be a really good move for the Bears. I just want to know what the Bears gave up. They gave up a pretty penny. First next year. Yep. And the five this year. And the four next year. Yeah. Good job, Bears. So, so the Bears get the pick, but they it costs a pretty penny. They gave up this year's first, next year's first, and next year's fourth. Ooh. So they're gonna get their quarterback, but it comes at a cost. Or I hope they get. Who would you? Okay, so as a Vikings fan, would you rather the Bears select Mac Jones or J- Justin Fields? Definitely. Not. They're saying they want Mac Jones, but you're saying you would rather them take Mac Jones? So you, you wouldn't want him to take field. He's not a mobile quarterback. Vikings don't have a... He's not there, so they might be in another room celebrating. <laughs> uh, probably not good. They're probably in the other room celebrating and going crazy. He probably right, just got yeah. off the phone. Yep. One of the Bears. Smiling. Oh, he's got a Bears hat on. You see it? Uh uh-uh. uh. One guy in front of the camera. No, uh uh-uh. He just had a Bears hat on. Oh, oh, oh man. Well, this mess, like what Mel Kuyper just said, this messes with the Patriots too because they're probably sitting there like, all oh, these quarterbacks are falling like our plan. And then the Bears straight up there. Well, I can tell you right now, Kraft isn't. Yeah, no way. Wow, they gave up a lot. Chris Sims tweeted out saying, oh, baby, I love this pick for the for Joe Burrow. A special connection with Jamar Chase. Chase is a, has especially explosive ability running routes. With the ball in his hands, or with the ball in his hands, he is a baller. Bengals can get O line in the second round, so I think Chris Sims is agreeing with what a lot of us say. The Giants traded with the Bears, so they're going to get the first this year, the first next year, and the fourth round next pick next year. Good job, Giants. So honestly, if the Giants had nothing really, they want they want right there that like there's nothing they're dying for. They got 
a pretty penny in return. So I, I kind of don't blame the, blame the Giants there. Obviously, it's kind of the boring thing to do is trade out of your first round pick. But when you get that, when you get another first and another fourth in return, I can't blame you there. We'll have a great draft next year. So. Uh, the Bears come to the stage with the pick now. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's just talking about CDC and COVID. From Chicago. And it helps with medical care. difference but he's gonna do the pick that's cool i think he did like front lines with covid or something like that this year oh he's a uh, the bears finally gonna get their quarterback yep. justin fields Wow, so the Bears thought they were going to get Andy Dalton. They were extremely upset, and now they finally get a quarterback in Justin Fields. And they gave up a lot for it, so they better hope he's the answer. Look at the dog. So there it is, Fields with the pick. Chicago gets the quarterback. So will Andy start this season? Will they fight it out, or do you think they'll just give it to Fields? I mean, they paid Andy like $10 million. What do you think they'll do? Do you think they'll start the season with Andy, or do you think they'll transition with Fields? If I was Andy, I'd say another year being healthy, give me a clipboard. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> the majority of it was guaranteed, and only a portion of it was uh, incentives. Rookie out there. The Fields finally goes at 11, which I think would shock the majority of people. I think a lot of people had him going earlier than that. So now the, Dow or the Cowboys are up at 12. I still don't know who they get here. Like, if I were the Cowboys, I would consider trading back even more. <laughs> do you go Jalen Phillips and help the edge? Or do you go Micah Parsons? Or do you go Greg Newsom, cornerback? Out of northeast and north, uh, yeah, northwestern has to be one of the three. And then I have a feeling the Chargers are going to get um, Rashawn Slater. But even, but even if so, you could still get that Elijah Vera Tucker, who's also really good for the Vikings. The Mel thinks I almost. I almost wonder if uh, Slater goes on. Late line. Mike Parsons, he might, knowing Zimmer. <laughs> Probably not, because we need line. We need a defensive line. Doesn't look too happy. I heard you. Didn't look really happy. All these other guys like in tears, crying, and Fields are just sitting there like, "What up?" <laughs> There's no way he anticipated that unless the Bears told him ahead of time, like, "Hey, we're gonna try to get you." Well, you know what? He probably wanted to go to the Vikings. 
Now he has to play that defense. Play with Cook. Roger Fields and Cook. So they're asking Jamar Chase about the Bengals' other receivers and their records. So like A.J. Green and Chad Johnson. And his response was, I'm going to break every record they have. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to get it done. <laughs> so pretty bold comments for Jamar Chase in his first press conference as a Bengal. What you want your first round picks to say. Just looking at some of the comments on Twitter about the other Bengals players, they seem really excited about the Bengals selection. And that question was revolved around Chad Johnson and AJ Green. So, pretty big response. So the Cowboys pick is in. It has to be defense. Defense. Might see Parsons go here. Flips, I'll be giving away one jersey, and I'll probably be getting one for myself as well. Might be Jamar Chase. They definitely need linebacker. I think you get Micah Parsons here. Yeah. There's two corners that you wanted are gone. Obviously, you could tell they wanted them because after they got taken, they traded back. So the next player on their board was probably Micah Parsons. So I think Micah Parsons here for the Cowboys. Let's see who they take. You see Tim Tebow coming back as a tight end. He's been doing workouts. Yeah, I read that today. Pick number 12 for the Dallas Cowboys. An Army veteran. Bengals gonna do with that uh, that one big hey. He's, he's on his last. Options. He's on his last year of his contract. I think after this year he'll probably walk because the Bengals won't be able to afford him. But I mean, he could slide into some tight end if he wanted to. Yeah, I said it last season. Just gonna, never did. You're gonna need a tight. Did Uzama comes back and then hopefully Drew Sample gets better. But I mean. Yes, would you want to get one that's more reliable down the road? Most likely. I like that kickoff. Micah Parsons. Yep. That's a good pick. Yeah. That's a good pick. You traded back and you got Micah Parsons, so what, they added a third round pick? <laughs> that's all. Awesome. That has to be crazy to go to the Dallas Cowboys, yeah. the biggest sports team in the world. That has to be a feeling. So the Cowboys get a good one here in Micah Parsons. That's a productive first round for the Cowboys. Traded back and still got the guy they wanted. I still think they wanted the corners over him, but not much you can do besides try to make it productive. And I don't think he wouldn't drop that low. Jones to the Patriots. If not, to the Vikings. No. Chargers right here. They have to go Rashawn Slater. If they don't go Slater, I think they go Vera Tucker. 
But I think they definitely go Rashawn Slater here. <laughs> you got, what if the Vikings draft the quarterback, draft that quarterback? Oh. The Vikings, you know what? The If there's another team that wants a quarterback, they better trade with the Vikings because if not, New England's going to get Mac Jones. And I think that's the last. I don't think anybody wants Mac Jones going to the Patriots. I don't think it, most people care if he goes anywhere else, but I don't think anyone wants him going to New England. So I think the Vikings could trade here. I'd be really surprised if they don't. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'd be really surprised if the Chargers don't get Panay, or not Panay, the other offense lineman. I love when they show him. There he is. <laughs> He's a defensive court. He's a defensive coach too, isn't he? The head coach for the Cowboys. Defensive coach? No, no, he was offensive guy. Green Bay all those. You know, I I know a lot of people beat cousins up, but actually had fantastic. He had a Pro Bowl year. Hopefully that year was good enough for them not I mean, to take Mac what, Jones. Think of what Cook did, and you know, if it wasn't for him, Jefferson broke the record. I mean, to lose someone like Diggs and that, I beat him up a lot, but I'm credit for. Chargers are going to take that. Ask him what you have. Back tail. The people that are still in here, you you might have to be a little bit. I guess you could beat Young still, but if for a head coach, would you would you still rather stick it out with Zach Taylor, or would you, if they could have went back in time and just promoted, um, I kind of think of his name, Mike Zimmer, Mike Zimmer to head coach instead of letting him, letting him walk to Minnesota, who would you rather have? As the head coach, because we've talked about this in various other streams in the past about Zimmer. Would he ever come back? Would he ever leave the Vikings? You know, what if he would have just been Marvin Lewis' successor and we would have never had to get Zach Taylor? And we've talked about this in past streams. And I think a lot of people like Zimmer a lot. So a lot of people do, do say Zimmer. But we've also talked in the aspects like having an offensive-minded coach is like different and it's good to change it up and have an offensive-minded coach with Burrow because it definitely would be different than having Zimmer coach Burrow. So. Well, you can you can tell he's a defensive coach. He teams is poor defense. But you're right. I mean, the way the league is, it's all driven. He's too old. I mean, he's finished with the Vikings. I don't I don't. I would be surprised. I would too. Donovan said BCTV. <laughs> Nick is in. Just excited to get to the Vikings pick. <laughs> It's going to be Slater. They have to protect Justin Herbert because they always talk about how much Burrow got hit. Herbert got hit just as much. Maybe not just as much, but he got hit a lot. Every time I was watching those games, he was running for his life too. Aren't the Vikings? Sorry. 
Archers would probably want a lot though. They probably want too much and then you know Zebra. Preston said, I like Zimmer, but I don't think uh we have Burrow even T if the ma if we if we have Zimmer. So you think that might be totally different of the draft process and how the team may look now? And well, I agree because if we had Zimmer, I don't think there, our records would have been as bad. Like I think they would have been better coached teams. Like I don't think we would have been a two win Bengals team, a one win Bengals team, or like a three wins Bengals team. We might have like be like a six win Bengals team or like a five win Bengals team. So yeah, you're probably right. I mean, the roster would look totally different and it it would gel differently. But you know that was another thing we talked about with Marvin Lewis versus Zach Taylor. A lot of people were saying like. Oh, I miss Marvin Lewis because even with Marvin Lewis, we never had like two win seasons. We at least were 500 or close to 500. They were never the bottom of the barrel of the league. And then Zach Taylor comes in and now we are. So I know a lot of people say like they miss Mike Z or uh, I don't know why I, keep I just forgot his name, but that's why other people are saying they miss that other head coach. But I don't know. I mean, sometimes an organization needs a, a big losing season so you can get that next guy. Like Joe Burrow. You know, you might end 500 season after season, but that means you're only going to draft middle of the pack every season. So obviously there's positives and there's negatives. I get you, Preston. But I could tell you our defense wouldn't look like anything it looks like now. <laughs> Yeah, I think it goes one two right there. Boom boom. There's Elijah Moore, that receiver you were talking about. Or they might get that Jalen Phillips kid. I know the Vikings are talking about getting him, but I just don't think they do. Definitely. I think they probably would have been. Mac Jones is still there. <laughs> if they get Mac Jones. That blue color. That's something about it. It's looking like Rashawn Slater might be the pick here for the Chargers. He's on the phone, so he might be talking to Zimmer. Wasn't there another offensive? Heck, or was it? Um. Yeah, like Christian Derisaw. Yeah. At this point, man, he might fall to the second round. I doubt it, but... Fifth pick, I'm pretty same, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Rotation. Ooh, this mock draft has Najee Harris going to the Steelers. I hope that's not true. Although they need a running back, but. Be interested. Rashawn Slater. That's tough. That's the right pick, though. That's the right pick. That's right, Andrew. Jamar Chase is a Cincinnati Bengal. Is it because it's out of the lottery now? He's wide. I know. <laughs> Three oh four, six four. Oh. Mac Jones, the Vikings. That's what's See, happening next. Watch, fucking chase here. Oh. Chase again. Oh, 
in purple. So Rashawn Slater goes there. The next up is the Vikings. On Vikes. So three minutes left here for the Vikings in this. Get a pick here. They can go edge, they can go offense line, or they can go Mac Jones and be the successor of Kirk Cousins. I think they go Vera Tucker here. I think. Have to. Have to. Best on the board. I like he's talking with the fans. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they did give a call. I had to ask how much they would have to give up. Ian Rapport, the Vikings are trading. Doesn't say what, but it says Ian Rappaport. The Vikings are tr are talking trade at number fourteen. Doesn't say they are trading, but it says they're talking trade. <laughs> what are they getting here? Spielman. Spielman does it every year to the Jets. The Jets are getting another pick here? Gotta see what they get. That means they're out the first round. <laughs> so the Jets get Zach Wilson. Now they're going to get a lineman for him now, maybe? Let's see. The Jets take the Vikings pick here in the trade. First round or this? I don't know. I'm trying to see if I can see what you get. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do to pick 15 here halfway through the draft, and then I'm going to end this one. So I got this pick, number 14 with the Jets, and number 15 with New England, and then I'm going to head out of here. Um, feel free to get active in that comment section, post-production, and talk Bengals football. Jamar Chase, welcome to Cincinnati. Obviously, we're all hyped for that. They got the exciting pick in Jamar Chase. Actually, I'm probably just going to wrap it up after this one, to be completely honest. Been live for two and a half hours. And if there was another Bengals pick here, I would do the draft. Or I would stay on for the entire first round. But I'm going to wrap it up after this one. I was kind of waiting. You might be like, oh, why didn't you just end it after the Bengals pick? I honestly was thinking about doing that. But I decided to wait a bit, little bit longer because you never know if the Bengals would trade back into the draft and then I would have to restream. But here at pick 14-15 with all these offensive linemen going off the board, it doesn't look like the Bengals will trade back in. And we all know that it's very slim that it would happen. But just, just in case it did, I would hop back onto a stream. But at this point, it doesn't appear as if that's going to be the case.
Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Thank you, Louisiana. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I'm going to do this last pick. It's in. It's just on commercial right now. So I'll get you guys this last pick, and hopefully you guys can find another um, another format to watch and or listen to the stream. I appreciate all the support tonight. Make sure you did all the – you left the like, subscribe, and did all that if you want to enter the jersey giveaway for the new stripes. Um, stay tuned. Hit that notification bell. Um, I'll be live here soon again talking Jamar Chase, talking Bengals draft. Obviously, we still got six other rounds. Um, will I be live for tomorrow? Most likely not, if I had to be honest. But will I be doing draft coverage videos talking about how I rate, rate the draft picks we have this year um, and etc.? Yes, I'll be doing that. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. It looks like the Vikings trade number 14, get number 143, number 23, number 66, and number 86. And the Jets are going to pick Elijah Vera Tucker. Um, so there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this draft, this live draft reaction. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you let me know in the comment section and, and hit that like button. Join the Discord. Follow me on my socials. My name is Drew Collins. Hopefully you enjoyed this, I guess this live stream or this episode of DCTV. Until next time, stay you, stay true, and as always,